everyone, so today I'm going to do a Primark haul as well as um, a few things from Lush and a couple of vintage pieces that I've just recently got as well. So this isn't all like from one day shopping, it's over the last few weeks so I thought I'd collectively show you it all together because then it'll be better than me just doing three separate videos. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this top from Primark and it's so pretty, it's all lacy as you can see and it's got kind of like um an embroidered detail all around the top like that so it's really like floaty and nice it's got an under um, dress an under piece with it anyway which is like really really sheer as well so I wouldn't obviously wear this as a dress but over leggings with a kind of um, a nude coloured or a white or cream top underneath in this looks really pretty okay and then I bought some of these which are um, they're called bodies and they're just basically like um, leotards that you'd wear for like ballet or gymnastics or something. But obviously they're to wear out. And they're really good for wearing underskirts when you want the, them to be really tight and you don't want like, the t-shirt to bag out. So it's just going to look like a t-shirt but really like tight fitting. And I'd wear it as a top obviously. That's the front. And then it has a much lower cut back. And yeah, it's just a really cute little stripy t-shirt basically. But it's a body. And it was five pounds so if the camera just changed angles i've just had to like redo them re-put in another memory card because this one ran out so anyway yeah this was five pounds actually this was the first one that i saw that i really liked of the bodies this one looks really big um like really wide i mean look how <laughs> wide that goes it's weird but obviously once it's on your shoulders it sits more like that and that's the front and again it's much lower at the back um, you might want to wear a top underneath this, it's just kind of a bit um, strange. It seems like it should have something across the back to hold it in place, but it doesn't. So this one is three quarter lengths, like that. The top of it is kind of um, a velvety fabric in a floral print, which is a great way to get florals into your autumn winter wardrobe, because look at the colours, it's kind of silver, blacks, um, gold, it's really pretty actually. I don't usually like things like this, but it, I really like velvet at the moment. Velvet is huge. So, and the bottom of it is just black like that. Um, so yeah, again, you just wear this with a skirt or trousers, anything you want really, so that it gives you um, a really nice slim fitted t-shirt. By the way, I just found this on the receipt. This was £9 and this that I just showed you was eight pounds then the last body that I got was this black lace one again I think that's the front and obviously that's the back because it's much much lower um, and it looks like that again three quarter length sleeves and I would wear this with a black cami underneath it because it's so sheer but I think lace especially black lace in the autumn winter always looks nice but it's especially big at this time of the year so yeah it's, it's just really pretty and I love anything like that I think that was five pounds as well yeah that was five pounds okay keeping with the velvet theme I got these black velvet shorts that, that's the front of them so they have this hook and eye detail at the front which is fake it doesn't actually do up it doesn't have any zips or anything so they're just kind of elasticated but i really like them i like the way they kind of um go together it looks a bit like a skirt but when you're wearing them they do look more like shorts and they're ever so slightly pleated but it's kind of just where the material drapes down so yeah that, that kind of crushed velvet is really big so i think these would look nice with black tights underneath and one of the bodies as well eight pounds because I have two different receipts because as we were coming out of Primark I saw these shorts which I didn't see when I was going around getting the other bits and I really really wanted some black velvet shorts for ages and ages and um, did I just say velour? I don't know anyway I wanted black velvet shorts for ages and I made Ricky, he's my boyfriend, I made him like come and queue up with me again so he wasn't very happy about that okay and then the final item of clothing that I got from Primark I didn't get that many things, like as many as I usually get, but I was I thought I was quite good this time. But this is one of my favourite things. It is a military jacket. Now, it's really creased because this has been in the bag since I got this stuff on, like, Thursday or Friday. And I wanted to not get it all up because I wanted to show you guys it all. 
so it's really creased because it's made of linen and honestly the camera does not do this justice it does not look nice on the hanger either so it's got all the buttons down the front yeah it's kind of like um a reddish brown and when you wear it the shoulders come up quite high and it just looks really nice on but it doesn't look very nice on the hanger and then it's got button details on the sleeves as well and then that's what it looks like at the back so this needs a good iron and um, then I can wear it and it was £10 okay then on to accessories I got this scarf which is a colour that I don't usually um, feel drawn towards like um, this kind of bluish colour but I thought it would be really pretty for this time of the year and this one is really good because obviously it's a huge massive scarf and you know what I'm like about my big scarves at the moment so it's like this big and the good thing about it is it's a reversible one so I don't know if you can tell properly but on this side it's kind of got um, squares, diamond shapes on it and then on this side it's florally or flowery whatever you want to call it which is really weird because seeing as it's quite sheer you can't see the other pattern on either side but yeah I quite liked that so I'd probably try and wear it more on the um, floral side but obviously you'll probably get a bit of both which is actually quite nice this was £5 which quite, is quite expensive for a Primark scarf but it's probably because it's got the reversible sides and I think they're just generally making their clothes better quality nowadays so that's why the prices are getting a bit higher so then I got this which <laughs> I think is really cute it's um, one of those head things that you wear I really don't know when I'm going to wear this because it's quite OTT and I think it was £3 and it's really really small as well like it's tiny and it doesn't stretch that much but um, I just thought it would be nice for a really cold day you could wear it over your head kind of around your ears I won't put it on right now but um yeah, I quite like it. I got this bag, which is really cute. And it's a good size as well because it's not too small like a lot of the satchel bags are. And then you can get the ones that are absolutely gigantic. So it's that real in-between size. Um, it's got quite a lot of room in it. And it's got a little pocket at the front and also pockets inside as well. A pocket inside. And um, yeah, you can make the handle longer so you can wear it across you or over one shoulder but obviously it would be a lot longer and this was £6 as well and finally some shoes I got these boots now I've got brown military boots but I really wanted to get the black ones they're, they're not exactly the same because they have this kind of um, fabric panel in them and then it goes into the, well they're not leather but the, the plastic bit and yeah these are really cute they've got the zips up the f um, sides again like my other ones so you don't have to actually do up all the laces they're just for show you obviously do do up the laces because otherwise they'd just be down like that but you know what I mean you don't have to like buckle them all up and these were £18 which for military boots that's not bad at all that's the same price as the brown ones too so they're really cute and then finally these shoes which I absolutely love again I've not taken these off all weekend they've, they've been the only thing that's been out of the bag so far because I've worn them everywhere um, they're high brogues like that and they don't come with laces that's the style of them and I love the colour they're just a really nice brown colour I think they look nice with the military jacket and I just love the little heel as well. These are so cute and I've been looking for some like this again everywhere. And when I saw them I was like, I really have got to get them. And they were £15. Okay, so this is from quite a few trips to Lush and one order as well. Some of the stuff I've already used because I couldn't wait. But I really wanted to show you what I got so I haven't used it yet. The only thing I have used is... um. The gingerbread house, which if you just go on to the Lush to the Lushes to Lush's website, then you'll see what the gingerbread house bubble bar looks like. Um, I also went back and got Twilight and the Boog again because they were my two standout favourites from when I did my review, and they've been used again. But obviously, I don't need to show those again, so that's okay. So, first of all, I got Calacus, which is kind of old news now because Halloween's been and gone, and this was the um, one of the Halloween jellies. Now I won't get it out because it's just going to go everywhere but it's yellow. They came in yellow, orange and green and if you get it out it's in the shape of like a little skull like a, or a skeleton face. Um, and it smells really nice. As you'd kind of expect, lemony and fruity and it has kind of a sweetie, like a sweet taste to it as well. Taste, I'm not going to eat it. 
even though it's jelly, smell to it. So I'm going to use that very soon. I don't know if their Halloween stuff is still available because I haven't been in there for... I haven't been in there since Halloween because, like I said, I made an order. Um, but they might be doing a sale on it or something, or they might even keep some of it until the January sale. I really don't know. But if you can get your hands on some of the Halloween stuff, then I would because it's really nice. Then, yeah, everything else I got when I went that day was the Twilight and the... Um, Boog and stuff like that. So this is the stuff that I ordered. So I got a piece of snow cake soap, which this one doesn't have any of the pretty pattern on it because I don't know why. But yeah, it looks like that. It's the most moisturising soap that I've actually felt like before it's even wet. It's kind of um, movable and moisturising. It smells nice. It smells very fresh, and this is going to sound very odd. But it smells a bit like Play-Doh. Has anyone else ever thought that? I don't know why, but I'm going to just try and rush through these anyway because this video is going to be like a billion years long. But yeah, it's nice, but it's got a bit of um, a play doh smell to it, which is weird. I got um, this one, which is called Christmas Kisses, which is a retro Lush product, so you can only get these online. Because um, they just make small batches of these now because... These are from, like, not even last Christmas, I don't think the Christmas before. But obviously they're not that old. They've just remade them, but only in small batches. Um, I don't really like it, which is really sad because I really wanted to like it. But it just has an odd smell to it. Some people might love it, but it, it reminds me of something that I can't quite put my finger on. I thought that about the um, gingerbread house as well, though. But in the end, I actually did like that in the bath. So I'm still going to use it up. I'm not going to waste it. Looks like that and um yeah that's the only problem with ordering a flying if you haven't smelt something before it can end up being a bit yucky i also got um bearded lady i don't know what where this oh that's it that's why i'm like i don't know why her nose is over here it's because that's her hat and they're her eyes bearded lady has a very fresh scent to it, it smells pretty not my favourite scent from Lush ever, but it's nice. And this is a bubble bar. Yeah, it's a bubble bar. I also got this one, which is a retro Lush product. And it, she's so cute. She's got these little um, mesh fairy wings, which are kind of stuck in the back of her like that. And this is a bath ballistic. Um, I can't even think what it's called. Something to do with an angel or a fairy, I'm sure. Um, but if you go on Lush and you look on their retro... Um, page then you'll see her probably as long as I've still got it um very sweet florally and a bit lavendery I think I'll have to go on the website and check what they all are because I can't remember but I do like the scent of this one so I'm going to be using this up that's what she looks like she's so cute I don't even want to use her sorry if the lighting is going all weird by the way it's just because I'm holding things up to the camera anyway my last thing that I got and my absolute favorite thing I think that I've got so far, and it's kind of falling apart now, is the, and I hope I'm saying this right, the Matryoshka doll, which is a Russian doll, um, and it's kind of a gift because it's got the tag on it, and it's got four products in it, and it's £9.95, which is quite expensive for just one little thing, but it smells amazing. Got this little headscarf all around it, and I don't really want to take that off yet, but it's all Christmassy and pretty. And then, you probably can't tell that well, but if you look on the site, you can see it better than my one. It's in the shape of a Russian doll. So you've got this first red bit, which is um, limited edition So White Snow, Snow? So White Soap, which is kind of a take on Snow White, but they weren't allowed to call it Snow White, so it's So White. And it smells of apples, and the smell is gorgeous. If you like apples, you'll love this. If you don't, then you probably won't. And then at the back of it, this is so white as well. So you get a lot of so white snipes. So white soap in this one. So the green bit is so white as well. And then inside, it's really hard to see, this white bit is a so white bath ballistic. It smells exactly the same. So like I said, you're getting a lot of that. And then you probably can't see it at all. I'll try and show you. This kind of um, yellowy bit inside, that's Cinder's Bath Ballistic. So that's what they are. So the top one, so white, so white, so white, and then Cinder's. They're really, really nice. 
scents together smell gorgeous. I know there's only like two scents in there, but the apple's obviously the most overpowering one. But yeah, it's really lovely. I also got a few soap samples, um, because you get them when you order online most of the time. You can just ask for them in the little comments box if you don't get them. But they're all ones that mainly I've had, like Lady Katrina Soap, which I've got the full version of and I really love it. So it's good to have that little version. You can even like take them on holiday and stuff with you if they're in the packaging, like travel soaps. I got Snow Cake, which was like kind of like, oh, because I've just bought the full size one. So it's not really that great to sample something I've already bought, but I'm not going to complain. They're just free soap samples. And um, I got Mandarin's Tea Party, which is this orange one. And it's very Mandarin, um, like fruity, orangey smell. So yeah, I like that one as well. So that's all the Lush stuff. And then finally, I just wanted to show you a couple of things, mainly just one thing. But um, I was at the Brighton Vintage Fair, which I told you guys about. I was so happy to see some of you that came down, um, because I didn't expect anyone to come down, but it was really nice to see some of your faces, and a few of you said, oh, I'm subscribed to you, so that was really nice to meet you. I was so busy, so I didn't really get a chance to talk to many people. Um, but yeah, it was a really good day, really nice people there. And um, uh, yeah, hopefully I'm going to be doing more, so... If you weren't around in Brighton, maybe you'll be around for the next one because I really feel inspired to do more of them after the last one I did. But I did get a quick chance to buy something in the morning because I was at a vintage fair. I could not have a look at the other stalls. So I bought this. It looks like a big bear. Now, first of all, before I show you this, I'm going to say that it's not real fur. So don't freak out on me. It's faux fur. Because there were real real fairs there, a lot of real fairs, because fur coats are huge this autumn winter. All the high streets have fur, mainly faux fur, but I wouldn't, I'm not sure if they're all faux fur. But anyway, I made sure I asked the lady for a faux fur one, and the one I picked up, my favourite one, was faux fur, so I was really pleased about that. So, it looks like this. And it's got these gorgeous buttons down the side. It comes up just above my knee, and it's got this bit on the back too um i can't really describe it much more than that hopefully i'll wear it in a video not a video like this but a video where i show different outfits so you can see it properly because i can see that it'd be very hard to see what it looks like here um but yeah it was 45 pounds which really isn't that bad for something like this obviously you can get them a lot cheaper and you can get them a lot more expensive but i was happy to pay that for it and then last but not least the very very last thing that i got was this skirt and um i really like the pattern of it it's all pleated and i love the floral detail it's really really long and obviously to most people they think that's gross see how long it is but i'm gonna cut it and i'm gonna um like take it in and stuff so it's a bit smaller it cost me two pounds um yeah so it's really long like i said at the moment and obviously i probably wouldn't wear it like that but i just really like the fabric of it so yeah two pounds it was like a bargain thing so yeah that's everything that i wanted to show you guys i'm sorry if this video is so so long i'm gonna go and try and edit it down a bit and yeah that's everything so i'll see you soon bye guys